Hey the Diamond Army, Ryan or General Diamond here. Welcome to episode two of the Diamond Power Cast. I got co-host Daniel here, also known as Grubby Pants. Hello. And then we have our guest, our first guest on the show, uh, Captain Shimu. How you doing, dude? Fuck you. Ouch. Uh, anyways, so uh, I'm doing great. How are you doing? <laughs> I brought you on here. Um, so, uh, yeah, we have actually, well, between Daniel and I, we have quite a bit of stories. And uh, I'm, actually, some of them are going to be saved uh, for next Saturday. So, um, yeah, but actually, uh, since you're the guest, do you want to start off? Yes. So, there is news coming out of the Marvel Cinema Cinematic Universe that Blade is going to be joining the universe. We don't know if Blade is va- Blade is basically a vampire hunter in the Marvel universe. So oh, I mean, yeah, he's yeah. great. Yeah, he also uh, has a couple of movies. Yeah, he does. Uh, he had a movie in 1998 and 2004, which were basically lined up with the comic books, I guess. The sort. 2004 was the Blade Trinity, right? I think so. Yes, 2004 was Blade Trinity. I don't remember what 1998 was though. The first blade. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the only way I really know any Marvel character is if I watch the Marvel movies. That's the way I learn about them. There, I, I haven't no read re- any of the comics. Have you read any of the comics? Like, no. Wow. As we, I, I mean, I, I was never really a comic person when I was growing up. I was more of just you were a never a comic person, but you paid a hundred dollars to go see all twenty-two Marvel movies. Yeah, because they're movies. I'm always movies I... leading up. My lord, Ryan's not a strong reader. <laughs> his, his AR level is probably like two when he was in high school or something like that. I, we didn't <laughs> even have AR. Wow, you're missing out on a lot of life. What is AR? Jeez. AR Acceler- basically a- a- accelerated reading. Yeah, but basically, oh, oh, you yeah, like it. I was in there. I was in there though because I was fucking stupid. <laughs> so we had that in elementary well, I mean, school. I mean, they put everyone in AR in elementary school, so I guess we were all stupid back then. I don't know. The, every the, every learn, class so. gave uh, what well, some called it AAR, and then another class called it SSR, which is silent sustained reading. Okay, then. Information we didn't want to fucking know, but thanks for it, anyways. Uh, Blade has no release date currently, or director, or any kind of stars yet, but... So it's yeah, not even article... really in the making, it's just kind of, like, a, a, As of, a It thought. was announced. Marvel announced it. So it's going to happen. They just don't have anything going yet for it. So it's going it, to be part of Phase it's a, 4. It, it's a pending project. Basically, it's going to be part of Phase 4. They confirm that. So, I mean, yeah, there you go. All right. Uh, Daniel, you want to go? I started off last time. Well, uh, he, just, he, this. he just started. Well, I started I mean, off this time, so yeah. now it's your turn. Now it's yeah. your turn, Ryan. All right, all right. All right, all right fine. Make so, Ryan um, you know what? I'm going to go take us back to childhood now because we have Toys R Us making a big return. So... It's, uh, they already made a return, though. It's owner... Well, actually, no. He, he, here's this. So, it's owner True Kids Brands announced Thursday that Toys R Us is being reborn in the United States with two new stores. The return comes more <laughs> than a year after the chain collapsed, resulting in a clo- in the closure of all 700 of its American stores. The new stores will be smaller than their pre- uh, predecessors, True Kids I described them as a highly engaging retail experience designed for kids, families, and to better fit within today's retail environment. So, there you go. Kids, your life is about to get amazing. You're about to see what we lived through when we were kids. It was amazing. We lived through, we lived through a lot of years of... That is bullshit. Uh, Every time I went to Toys R Us, <laughs> it was like... 
<laughs> it was like it was like throwing me in a place of a bunch of shit that I couldn't buy or fucking touch. You know what? That's yeah, that's very true. Actually. <laughs> they're they're really fucking expensive. They are, but you know what? I still I got some games from there. I got some of my favorite toys from there that I don't Why have don't anymore. Ever but buy games from there. It's life. Why? Yeah, games why? Why? Why would you buy games from there? Honestly, because they had a wider that. variety of uh, what was it? Uh, PS4 or not? No, not PS4. What the hell? That wasn't even a thing back then. Uh, Nintendo Bitch. Nintendo DS games is what I went there Bitch. for. Bitch. GameStop had the exact same shit. I was on that the PS. I was on that PS2 life back, back in the day. I was back on that Nintendo. DS I mean, originally, stuff. originally I went to the Toys R Us to get toys, but then. You know, I came upon the electronics area, which was basically in the front left of the store. So it's like, all right. And your parents, and your parents went, oh shit, he found that section. God damn it! I was really uh, into Legos. Yeah, oh, man, Legos. Legos. And uh, when I, dude, when I found that Lego aisle, I was like, holy shit, that's a lot. <laughs> I want it all. Then, I was like, know, I was really into Lego City. I would not have been surprised if Ryan started creating a Lego channel and started building Lego shit. Nah, I'm not I'm not as I, into Legos as I was when I was a kid, but man, those were fun. <laughs> yeah. You could sure. build whatever the hell you wanted. I had a friend over when I was younger and uh we just stayed up all night watching little YouTube tutorials, like couple minute videos on how to build Lego furniture. For our, our little Lego house that we built I, out of just I, scraps. I built Lego guns and I like shot people with them. <laughs> what? What if anyone made a Lego dildo? Oh my god, dude! This is so not gonna get monetized. <laughs> they hey. technically could if they use like super glue to keep it all together. Oh, I didn't say anything about using it. I just said Man, they build it. Do you know how it. much that would hurt though? Oh. Well, no, they'd have to put, like, a plastic layer over it, then throw a condom over it. It'd be a whole big ordeal. But, like, Wait, the, that, the sharp like, Lego edges, though. They sell, they sell, yeah, you'd have to put, like, a, a molten plastic, like, flex seal over it. Like, a rubberized layer. Flex seal? Why That's a lot of damage. talking about this? <laughs> That's a lot of damage. <laughs> How to... <laughs> DIY dildos. Jeez. <laughs> Um. <laughs> oh no. Oh, all right. No. I guess I'll talk about mine. So yeah, yeah, yeah. everyone is aware of how hot it's been getting. Oh yeah. Oh man. no shit. The summers, oh, yeah. where, the summers where I live are freaking awful. I I could imagine. Yeah, it's it's not fun. I'm I get uncomfortable in the heat. Our AC so anyway, broke and we had to. I sweat fix a lot. That. Yeah, that was that. Yeah, his AC broke. That was a rough time for him and his life. A good. That was a rough eighteen hours of living. Oh, Damn, you that's have a no rough idea, hours, dude. Bruh. bruh, I'm so sorry for you. Oh wait, no, I'm not. <laughs> so in Massachusetts, brought, yeah, please <laughs> ask residents to refrain from crime until after the heat wave passes. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Not kidding. They have asked. They're like neighborhood and all criminals. Like just hold off on illegal activity until Monday, when the heat wave is supposed to like die down because it is so hot. And I get why because I've I've had on a police vest before, dude. They weigh like fifty pounds, and they're black. It gets real hot under them. Well, yeah. I mean, black is always oh, known I can, to. I draw can understand heat. why yeah. it's like fuck, man. Like this sucks. <laughs> I can understand why I say that. And chasing people around, that doesn't sound like fun when it's 95 fucking degrees out, or more where you live. That sounds, that just, that article sounds so ridiculous. Like, you go up to a criminal, like, sir, can you please not rob this bank till Monday? <laughs> sir, <laughs> sir, please don't sell crack until Monday. <laughs> <laughs> sir, it's not, we can't don't catch him no, until then. Don't overdose until Monday, please. Don't overdose <laughs> until Monday. Just please. <laughs> that just sounds so idiotic. It really does. It really uh, does, but it's funny. Yeah. It's just, it's good enough for the memes. It's good enough. It's good for enough. The memes. It's it's heat wave. Doesn't commit crime till after it passes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I can't I can't wait to fall and winter out here. I oh, you know yeah. I also just love the holidays that follow those seasons too. 
which holiday? Thanksgiving, Christmas, you know, that kind of stuff. Oh, you can stuff your face out feeling guilty. Okay, I got you. Anyways. Well, I, I don't have self-consciousness about my, my weight or anything. Well, I do. Now, shut up. You're skinny hey. as fuck. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Who, me or him? You. Well, me too. I'm a fucking but... whale. What are you talking about? <laughs> you, obviously haven't, you obviously haven't seen me. <laughs> and I probably don't want to see you. All I've seen is a keyboard and hands, and that was enough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's like 50% yep. of me right there. That's 50%. <laughs> That's 50%. It's more like 1% of you, but okay. Moving on. Going to a little bit of science here. Elon Musk says that the Starship prototypes that he's been working on will have their first test flights in two to three months. SpaceX CEO Elon Musk meme review believes that both the Texas and Florida <laughs> Starship prototype Rockets are being developed by being developed by the private space company will fly in two to three months, which is an aggressive timeline considering the planned untethered flight of its Starhopper demonstration prototype missed its target of running this past week. I actually saw this. I actually saw this. I just didn't pick it. I didn't see that. And wait, did uh, I couldn't tell. Did you mention something about Tesla? No, I didn't. Uh, but if oh, you want to buy Tesla, it, it sounded like you did. I mean, I, Why? I, I just, have a, I have a story Elon on Musk. that. <laughs> you heard Elon Musk and go straight to Tesla. Well, Tesla. because I have a story on Elon Musk <laughs> about the Tesla. Oh, great! We're going to hear about that shit later too. All right. Actually, I think I'll, uh, I'll use that I segue think for this right now. Stupid, over expensive car. Like, listen here. I've got a fucking scooter. No energy. No gas. No nothing. I go wherever I please. The scooter can actually hold you, though? Yes. Oh. So, uh, Tesla apparently cuts prices on top-selling Model 3 while discontinuing versions of other cars. And, okay. Uh, so, yeah, they're, they're doing that, and uh, Tesla said on Monday that it's reducing the price of the Model 3 by $1,000 to $38,990. The company will no wow. longer, yeah. The, the company will no longer sell the standard range versions of the Model S and Model X, raising the minimum costs uh, consumers will have to pay for those cars. So the base version of the Model S is rising to seventy nine thousand nine hundred ninety dollars from seventy five thousand dollars, while the price of the Model X is increasing to eighty four thousand nine hundred ninety dollars from eighty one thousand dollars. So that that's wow, wow. So I can buy a Tesla for a thousand dollars less. Awesome, love it. <laughs> yeah, it's really fucking helping me. Yeah. Uh, hey, thanks for helping the helping my financial situation. <laughs> I mean, hey, but you, you gotta. I mean, aside from that, you you really, man, you, you gotta appreciate the uh, the self driving Tesla, <laughs> dude. It doesn't use any gas. It's all charging. It's electric. It's amazing. What if it rains? Yeah, then you're kind of fucked at that point. What if, what, if, what, if, what if the battery shorts out? Like, you're in the middle of, like, the highway, and all of a sudden the battery just shorts out? Hey, yeah. Oh, yeah, you want some gas? I have some. Oh, no. Do you have a battery? <laughs> Do you have a fucking... No? Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Yes, sir. What, what's going to be the problem, sir? Well, I need a battery for my fucking Tesla. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, what? Do you happen to have one? All cars have batteries. Yeah, but... Fuck, it doesn't run completely run? on the battery. <laughs> yeah. It runs on like, gas. How many people do you helps. know? How many people do you like, know that? Uh, name one person that you know that carries a spare battery in their car for someone who has a fucking Tesla. My brother Zach carries a spare battery, but he does not drive a Tesla. He drives a fucking Ford. That's okay. a good company, you know. by the way. Oh, yeah. You know, I love Ford trucks. I love the Ford Raptor. Thinking about getting one. For all you truck fans out there, you know how it I is. Get, get your pecker rock hard whenever you see a nice <laughs> truck. I thought about getting a car in general. You have a car. I did have a car. What the fuck happened to it? <laughs> it uh, it got scrapped. Oh, this what? I thought you said you put it in the shop. 
No, I said the engine got mel- was melted on the inside, and I had it got completely scrapped. So... This is horse dookie. So you literally oh. are out a car 100%. Yes, sir. Oh, wow. Well, yeah. I recommend you buy a moped. <laughs> I don't even have the money for a moped right now. But it's okay, though. I don't go anywhere, really. I just go to the gym and to work in the library most times. Well, there you go. That's all you need. Anyways, Daniel, you got your next story? Oh, you bet. <laughs> all right, so... <laughs> Pennsylvania school districts tells parents to pay their lunch debt or their kids will go into foster care. What the fuck? Yeah, see, yeah, that, that's so stupid. Shit. Where do you find your stories? On CNN. <laughs> of course. Of course. Who would have thought? I mean, hey, CNN's pretty, uh, you know, nope, never, not even, not, don't you fucking, I'm not I even, swear I'm to not God, even gonna you go say there. what you're about to say. I'm not even gonna go there because I already know there's gonna be hate in the comments, so. Fuck you, damn right. <laughs> Fuck CNN. Uh, you know, actually, I went to Costco, um, like, this past week. And I actually, I saw this guy wearing a shirt. I didn't say anything to him, but I saw the shirt and it said CNN on it. And below that, in white font, it said, it, like, as the acronym, Corrupted News Network. And I'm like, you son of a... Mm-hmm. Your goddamn right's corrupted. It's... Anyways. Um, yeah, Fake so... News. <sighs> oh, like Fox? <clears throat> So, <laughs> hey. <laughs> Anyways, with this, continue continue this story here. So I want to hear more about this story. I work for them. Tell us more about the fucking foster care story, bitch. Ah, dude. When I was a kid, they just asked for your freaking lunch money. If you didn't give it to them, they just gave you a cheese sandwich to set you on your way. Wow, you're lucky you even got a cheese sandwich. They just. Ended up saying, no, they, they literally, they just give you two pieces of bread with with cheese in the middle, boom, done. They don't grill it, it's just, it's all raw. It's just beautiful. It's not, it fucking sucks, I used to eat them all the time. <laughs> it's like, it's literally just a piece of freaking bread. <laughs> or yeah. two two breads and one just cut, a, cut a, a, a cheese from the fridge. I can't tell the amount of times that I've actually had to, like, steal people's lunches. What? Like, I'm not even I kidding. Did, I, like, I used to do that as well. I'll get up and I'll walk. Like, if I see someone get up to go get something, I will literally steal their tray and set my fucking cheese sandwich right where their fucking tray used to be, and I'll walk away. <laughs> I'm like, dude, why? Okay, oh. I'm like 100 pounds heavier. Why should I be eating less than this skinny fuck over here? Huh? <laughs> that doesn't make any fucking sense. Fuck him. I bet they've been really. They must have been like really fucking pissed off when they see a cheese sandwich just in their tray of food. <laughs> yeah, oh, I, I, Daniel, if you were to up. have done that to me, if I were to went to the same school, uh, and you told me that just now, I would be so pissed. Well, Ryan, Ryan has flashback to the time he got lunch and sees just a cheese sandwich where his tray was. <laughs> where did my mini corn dogs go? <laughs> Everyone loved the mini corn dogs. And the I pizza. never, I never got those. I that took what was the other stuff. I didn't. I remember I wasn't elementary. Really a, I wasn't school. really too much of a fan of hot dogs at the time. Really, you're such a loser. I remember uh, elementary school on Thursdays. They used to serve us fucking waffles for lunch, and it was like the best time ever. Damn. Um, in the morning, they served us like mini pancakes. Mini pancakes. Yeah, they served us fucking cereal. Best. Yeah, yeah, or, yeah, I ate the cereal, cereal too. Fucking cinnamon what? toast crunch or fucking see, Cheerios. Like the thing I is, to grab I, milk and I, I never grabbed the white milk. I always, I always got the chocolate milk, and I and I used that as <laughs> as the milk to put with my cereal. <laughs> Here's the thing that sucked, man. Look, so it it was amazing though. This is bullshit right here. So, <laughs> okay, the the lunch that they give you, I think we had. Okay, so. Every once in a while, and I hated when we had this lunch, they'd give us spaghetti. Yeah. And it'd be like a frozen fucking rectangle spaghetti. They'd take, like, an ice cream scooper, and they'd put, like, a perfect dome of, like, spaghetti all stuck together on my tray. I'm like, huh, that <laughs> sure looks fucking healthy. And a tri-ass <laughs> breadstick. I'm like, okay, okay, cool, cool. 
And I'm sitting here, I'm like, okay, I can't, okay, have to, can't swallow it. So let's, uh, let's chuck some chocolate milk <laughs> to wash down my fucking spaghetti. <laughs> that sounds awful. <laughs> I always got, the, I always got like the little water bottle. Fuck, the, fuck milk. And one time I forgot my milk one time in the morning for my cereal, and I went to go back and told me I had to pay for fucking milk. So I sat wow. there like a fucking jerk off eating Fruit Loops dry. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, hey, man, just to, you kind of put yourself in the mentality. It's like you know what? I'm just over here snacking on some on some dry uh, cereal. You know, it's pretty nice. You yeah, can you can actually. You, I mean, you eat Cheez Its. It's kind of the same thing. You're you're eating something that's small, and you can. Eat I know, it but you're not handful. supposed to put milk in Cheez Its, are you? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, you're not. I'm yeah, sure someone's tried it though. I am sure if you look up on YouTube, someone's done it. I can't wait for a cheese it cereal. They already have Sour Patch Kids cereal. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna look it up really yeah. quick. I mean, fucking the KFC Cheeto sandwich, whatever the fuck it is now. Okay, I tried that. How was it? Dog gravy. But I did try their poppers, like their little chicken poppers with like the Cheeto sauce or whatever on it, and those yeah. are not bad. Those are not bad. But the sandwich itself is just, oh, God, why? I I wanted to try the sandwich, but I just didn't want to at the same time. But now yeah. I'm definitely not going to. I never tried the uh, the Mac Cheetos at Burger Mac King. Che- I don't think I ever had those. They were like, they were like Cheetos, but like, like Mac and cheese on the inside. Oh, I think I had the, the Cheeto chicken, chicken fries. Nope. Those were not bad. I tried those. I didn't taste the Cheeto, but they were good. Yeah. I mean, I taste the chicken. Any cheesy it snack, was chicken. whether it be Cheez Its or Cheetos, they're still cheesy. Now, on Good Mythical Morning, good on Good Mythical Morning, they did Cheetos in milk, and you can find that by literally just typing in YouTube, Cheetos putting Cheez Its in milk, and you'll see that thumbnail. That sounds disgusting. It kind of does. <laughs> that sounds really disgusting. Cause you imagine all that cheese dust just getting into your milk, and then you having to eat that. That's just no. No, you want to know some fucking disgusting? I had to fill up. I had about. Uh, you know when you know you get a bowl, you get a big bowl of cereal. You're like, yeah, it's about to be a good ass breakfast. You look yeah. at the milk. There's like none in there. There's like just a little bit. You're like, huh? Okay. So I had to fill it up with water. So I had like a water and milk mixture, and I had to pour that in my cereal. Um, it wasn't that bad. I didn't really taste it. Huh. Mm. That that sounds pleasant. Uh, Man, but school lunches. School lunches. Oh, wow. There's you can tell. I mean, my dad used to tell me school lunches were so much better than what they were nowadays. Like when the school when he had school lunches, you got like a full good on meal. Really? Then why game. the hell did we get the bad end of the stick? Well, because Obama came into office. I'm not even gonna get started on that. I'm just, um, I'm just kidding. And no, <laughs> for, for real, like I don't know what it was. I think it's just school budgets just like get cut when it comes to lunches. Like they cut out the least important stuff and spend it, the money on more education that we don't need. I have a feeling we're gonna be learning, or at least I'm gonna be learning a lot more about my viewers than I do already because of all the stuff we've already kind of hinted towards via politics and news networks and stuff and I'm gonna I already know I'm gonna end up disagreeing with people and I'm not ready for that here's what I think as well and there's just there's just some certain things that are really fucked up about school lunches it's a fact now think about now how bad school lunches are now think about like 20 years in the future kids are gonna get like literally are probably just gonna end up being served like a fucking cheese sandwich or even just, just a granola bar. <laughs> yeah, just no. They're just gonna fucking get like a cup of air. Is what they're gonna get. A cup of air. A cup of fucking air. <laughs> what? Like, um, all right, you you, pay, you paid ninety eight cents for your lunch. Here's your cup of air. Have a good fucking meal. <laughs> get a cup of O two. That's it. <laughs> cup, a cup of O two. Just a cup of fucking O two. Get a bowl of water. <laughs> That's a, you just get a bowl of water, oh. and you get one of them like little towels that you have to drop in there, and they expand, and that's your fucking meal. <laughs> <laughs> You're eating towels now. Um, but no, um, 
I think, okay, so, you know what? We're on the topic of food. I like this topic. Yeah. I, I went to a restaurant. I don't know. Where, I think it was called, like, St. Elmo's or some shit or something. Oh, my God. A hundred fucking dollars? Why? That was... For what? For... I don't know. Some sort of, like, steak and some chili fries or some shit. Did you, did you end up buying it? Oh, yeah. I ended up fucking buying it. It was good. I'm just saying. How big was, was the it thing, worth the though? hundred, though? Yeah, was it worth I... the 100? Oh, hell yeah. I'm just saying, like, why, though? Because, like, man, why if it were $100, that, 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 that better have been the best meal you've ever had. Dude, dog, it's like $60 per person to get them in there. Oh, Jesus. You got your meal. Yeah, the meal wasn't a hundred dollars. It was sixty dollars plus whatever I paid for my meal. It ended up rounded up to like a hundred some dollars. Then that must have been like some exclusive yeah, yeah. restaurant. It's called Saint Elmo's. It's downtown Indy. It's pretty good. I oh. recommend you go like try it. Actually, it's pretty good. If I ever come down to Indy, I will have to. I'm sure it's. It. There's also Portillo's. Portillo's is pretty good. There's something called the Chocolate Cake Shake. That uh, sounds. Good, but That's also a lot of sugar. Well, it's a chocolate shake, but it has like a consistency in that like texture of cake. Huh. It's kind of it's it kind of sound, thick. It sounds and interesting. They it, and they give it to you in like one of them like gas station like polar pop cups, like one of them big fucking like just plastic like you know what I mean like fountain cups. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like, oh, okay. Didn't know you were gonna give me diabetes in a cup, you know? Or, <laughs> oh. I don't know how I don't have diabetes. I don't. I, it's a fucking miracle. <laughs> there's, there's a cheeseburger I get when I go to this restaurant. A restaurant called Hardee's, and no one knows what Hardee's is. You probably heard of it as Carl's Jr. Dude, Carl's Jr. Name, yes. Carl's Jr. And Hardee's are basically the same franchise. I don't know why they have different names when it comes to different states it's weird my hearties around here sucks ass but there's this burger i guess it's called the i think it's called the monster burger or something like that it's basically got fucking like bacon and cheese and just fucking two pat two two patties like this thing's fucking huge and it's so basically the only thing I'll it's, ever get. it's a big mac on steroids it, it's fucking great it comes <laughs> with mayo too but i get rid of the mayo because fuck mayo but yeah so, i don't like mayo on anything it it's a good burger, I'm not gonna lie, like... I, it, it's, I, I like the problem beer. is, it's 12 fucking dollars, and I'm like, what the fuck? 12 dollars for that shit? <laughs> well, I mean, if it's a monstrous burger, I would think that they would jack the price Plus up on that. Plus fries and a Coke, or whatever yeah, you so, your drink, it, yeah, that's a so, normal price, but... Yeah, if that's, if that's oh, a that's... full meal, then that's a good price for it. I could get a full meal cheaper at McDonald's. Well, okay. yeah, that you can get a fucking or Burger King. It's seven or eight dollars. I could get, I get Burger King foot lettuce for a cheaper price. Okay. <laughs> Last thing you want. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Alrighty. Anything else you want to add on this topic before we move on to the next article? Um. Yeah, I do. Then go ahead. Okay, so if you order something and you're sick of having this experience, where okay, I had this a little bit ago. It was good, but this time I ordered the same thing and it's shit. And if you're wondering why, I how about you I, go in and you ask them like, "Hey, these are fucking shit. Can you make me new ones?" That's all you gotta do. You don't just accept your food and leave. No, <laughs> go in there, make a scene, tell the bitch behind the counter, make me some new fucking food. This is bullshit. <laughs> I've had that experience before. I won't lie, and it always happens with McDonald's fucking fries. I don't know. I why know. It's like they're either too salty or perfect or crunchy or they're soft and cold. It's like, yeah. Like, I I've had it to where it was so incredible. It was so oh, salty. Yes. I was convinced that they they yes, tried they to salt, the salt it. Shaker, yeah, yeah, they loosened the cap on it and then it just boom poured all the way out. <laughs> Someone was pulling a prank on their coworker and it just fucking backfired badly. Basically. Yeah, man. Yeah. Uh, and I, like, I don't, I don't mind my fries being extremely hot because I know that's because it was just cooked, so I don't yeah. really mind that too much. I don't I'll, mind I'll that. let it, I'll let it cool for a little bit, you know, to get to a good decent temperature. 
But if you're going to yeah. hand me cold ass fries through the freaking drive through, yeah. we're going to have some issues. Exactly. Huh. It's like, <laughs> how long have those fries been sitting out for? Oh, you know, two to three days, you know. Enjoy your meal, sir. Uh, you know, and I've had cold what fries, and I asked them before, like, excuse me, how long have these been sitting out? And I shit you not, they told me five hours. And I'm like, nah, I want some fresh freaking fries. Yeah, I know. That's like, what the fuck? You don't tell them the I... truth, you lie to them. Yo, I went to KFC and they said, oh, sorry, we don't have chicken. <laughs> we don't have chicken? What? <laughs> what? They said, sorry, yeah, sorry. Sorry. It's gonna be like 30 minutes to 40 or to like an hour almost. Just like, how the fuck do you not have chicken? You're KFC. Why can't, why can't you just make me my chicken and fuck everybody else? Yeah, like. <laughs> why make a whole batch of chicken to serve everyone? Just serve me, okay? I'm here at the window, there's no one else in line. I'm not gonna lie, I like KFC's mac and cheese. Really. I like Popeyes. It's okay. I I tried I, I tried Popeyes and I did not like it. I never tried Popeyes mac and cheese. But they so make it look so like... good in the commercials, but then you try it in real life and it's like, what the hell? Well, I did not expect this at all. Trying. It depends what, what you're trying. If you have the spice if you have the spicy tenders, they're pretty good because they got a lot of they got a lot of crunch on them. They got a lot of, you know, the skin, which everyone likes. Louisiana fried chicken. Yeah. It's not Kentucky fried chicken like KFC. This is Louisiana fried chicken. Yeah. Which I think is just better. Personally. I don't know. I've never had Popeyes. Towards Kentucky. I, I love Kentucky. I would, have, I would have to have Popeyes to compare. Because it sounds also, really interesting. I also love Alabama. Well... Okay, well, we're not gonna talk about Alabama. We're just What's wrong with Alabama? Oh. There's a lot of things wrong with Alabama. Hey, I grew up in the fuck. Hey, I grew up in the fucking bayou in Alabama. Okay, so you like kissing your cousin, Diego? Marry him? Okay. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> so <laughs> okay, so okay, I'm gonna say this. So this girl made a video. She said my stepbrother tried to fuck me, and. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I am so getting like age restricted like right now. It wasn't like official. She was like talking, she was like, yeah, my mom got a new boyfriend and this was uh, his son. And you know, he was kind of awkward, he always cracked jokes, and he wanted to dump his girlfriend for me, and I had to remind him. I said, hey, our parents are about to like get married, so that technically could like make us step, uh, step siblings. And... And then I look in the comments, and immediately I just see Alabama, uh, Alabama, all this shit. And I'm like, okay, there's nothing wrong with fucking your stepsister. There's no blood. Oh. No, there's no relation at all. There's nothing wrong with that. If it's your cousin, I... yeah, that's a problem. But if it's no blood related, then there's not a problem with that. I... I am I so agree. Agree. I'm sorry. I agree with like, that. I'm sorry if I got a hot stepsister who's I... like, hey... Can I suck your dick? So, I'm not going to be like, um, no. I'm good. So we're definitely not getting monetized for this one. Oh, I, I, I dude, the monetization is <laughs> so far away from this. I'm, I'm worried about here. age restriction at this point. I'm not here for <laughs> demonetization and age restriction. I'm here to prove a point. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, I could, I could agree and disagree. Five-year-olds, <laughs> I would update your, you I would have, I would update that, your birth bro? dates. <laughs> I mean, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Can, if your parents are listening, I'm kidding. I can agree that yeah, it is not blood. So technically, nothing's fucking wrong with it. But at the same yeah. time, they no, there is no at the same time. Technically, that's your family member now because no, it's your, not. your parents are married. Technically, it's your family member now. But so it's not blood. If you ain't blood, it blood. doesn't count. I think it does count. But we're gonna leave it at that. Okay, I think. okay, I think okay it, fine. Let me throw you in a scenario. Okay, oh, say. Say you have a girlfriend, and you and her have been okay. going steady for like a year, and all of a sudden, your yeah. her her parents and your parents meet. Are you guys just going to break up and stop seeing each other because you are now step-siblings? Or are you going to be like, oh. no, fuck you, we were doing this first before our mom and dad was? Yeah. He's got a good point. Yeah, he's got a good point. All right. Yeah, like, no. If you are stepsister and stepbrother, it is fine. People may be like, oh, that's a little weird, but I guess technically it's there's nothing actually legal or wrong about it. That is, that, yeah, okay. <laughs> All right. Makes sense. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we're going to move on to the next article, I think. 
Yep. <laughs> mine, has, uh, mine has to do with a place what, in California. What, what are you doing? It's my turn. Hey, it's my turn to do the article, asshole. What do you mean? <laughs> it, go, it went me, you, and then Daniel, and it goes back around the circle. Whatever. That is true. Go for it. Thank you. Now, this story <laughs> is about health, I guess. And so, uh, apparently, salmonella outbreaks in 27 states are linked to pig-ear dog treats. Pig-ear dog Pig-ear dog treats have been recalled from the market due to suspected salmonella contamination. The CDC, whatever the fuck that means, is now advising pet owners to not feed their to not feed pig-ear dog treats to pets and to throw them in containers where pets can't accidentally consume them, instead of, you know, being smart and just throwing them away to fucking begin with. Nearly 100 I people have now been dog. affected by the salmonella outbreak that have affected 27 states. The illness started in 2018 of October, and so far, 20 people have already been hospitalized, apparently. So, I don't know. Jesus. Yeah. Man, why can't you just dispose of the crap and get it out of the site? I know. And why would you put it in a container where your dog can't fucking reach? Why not just throw it away to begin with? I, I'm so... I wasn't listening. Yeah, I know <laughs> you weren't. I'm sorry. <laughs> I heard, like, salmonella, and, and I stopped <laughs> A salmonella outbreak? Is that what it was? Yeah, uh, from pig ear dog treats. Pig ear dog treats. Um, okay, well, first of all, um, why? What is uh, wrong go with ahead. the good, what's wrong with the good old classic bone? <laughs> Can't find nothing wrong with it. I mean, shit, what's wrong with, like, a chicken bone? That's a good point. Grab a wing and just throw it. I'm just kidding. Don't do that. It's going to kill your fucking dog. Don't just throw like a chicken bone at a dog. He will die. Yeah, he, he'll <laughs> choke on it. That or it could cut up his insides. It did my that dog. Too. That's how he died like two weeks ago. Yeah, Meaty's gone. Um, oh, well. That, no, I didn't know how that's how he went. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's how it went. Like, I went to the. I'm like laughing about it. They're like, God damn, Daniel's a sick fuck. No, no. Um, we went to like the doctor with him like early in the morning. Oh my he, god! He had an oversized um uh, appendix or some shit or something like that. An oversized um some bowel, um some abdominal organ. Um, oh. and they just kind of you know shrugged it I guess off their fucking shoulder and said, "Okay, well here, just give him these pills, and if it doesn't work, come back." Okay. It doesn't. Well, it didn't fucking work. I'll tell you. Wake that up much. the next day, he's dead, and I'm like, huh, oh, fuck. what? <laughs> That's ironic as hell. <laughs> so here I am, stuffing this guy in a fucking trash bag. <laughs> oh, oh, wow, this is the best way to start a Monday morning. <laughs> Taking out the fucking garbage. Man, and I remember Jesus. meeting Meaty too. Yeah, he was, he a, was a big dog. old, um, like. What breed of dog oh, is he? Uh, uh, bulldog, you know what you right? should have done? What you should have done is you should have called the doc vet back and be like, hey, the pills didn't fucking work. Hey, my dog's dead. <laughs> <laughs> because of you. You came because of you, because of my dog. <laughs> no, I, I know it wasn't their fault, but I don't know. Like, they couldn't really do anything because we weren't going to do like surgery. On, we don't do surgery on our dogs. Like We don't... We're not the type of people like, okay, we have a dog, and it's like, okay, for in order for him to live, you're going to have to be like, hey, here, you have to like show out like two grand for surgery. Like, no, I'm sorry, kill him. Can't do it. We don't. <laughs> oh. that's, that's just how we are. We don't care how long we've had. Oh, we're, we're not going to spend over $100 on a dog. That's not how this works. That's not how this family works. It's a dog. It's not a fucking person. You can fight with him out if you want. It's a fucking dog. Hey, now, we'll, be seeing, we'll be seeing PETA in the comments later tonight. Oh, fuck PETA. Um, <laughs> we'll be seeing a lot of people in the comments, especially the animal activists. Oh my god! I know god. you guys are just like, uh, I hate, I hate Daniel. I want him on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I'm filling up my glass full of water. 
I'm on my I don't feel like this is I... gonna get one age restricted. In two, I mean, I'm 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 past demonetization at this point. I feel like I'm gonna see CNN in the comments like, "Where's that fucker, Captain Shamu at?" <laughs> uh, a few fucking words to say to him. Uh, <laughs> but I, the guy I mean, seen it, like I'm... just <laughs> on the street. There's the fucking guy. <laughs> On a semi decent, well, not even really decent. I don't know. Uh, but uh, on the we're, next topic, we were uh, talking about a fucking uh, what what uh, what was it? What's it called? Salmonella? Salmon? Yeah, Sas- salmonella. Sarsaparilla? Whatever the fuck it is. Sarsaparilla. <laughs> Ryan's gay. <laughs> we were talking about an outbreak. To <laughs> hey guys, my dog's dead. <laughs> I, hate, I hate the vets. Oh, fuck you. Know. Listen, our attention, we have the attention span of gnats, so... I mean, shit, we, we went from food to fucking your sister, stepsister, I mean, our attention span's like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> if they can tell what? you anything about us... Let's get some kids. In, let's get some kids involved in this part because I have a new article and it's about Disneyland and it's not Walt Disney. It was <laughs> Walt's listening to this point in the I'm video. Sorry, can you like wait? Is this a live podcast? It's this recorded. I would love to see just Walt in here and like, what the fuck? If Walt, <laughs> if Walt were to, ju- oh my god, if he's listening to this point in the video in the podcast, he's gonna be so mad. I want to take. I think me and Walt should go on a date to Disneyland. No, but Walt's see, Walt's Walt's too sensitive. If you were to, to do topic, that, he'll... you'd be Walt, going to Walt. a ghost town because Walt, to... would have, Walt was going to stop listening to this podcast as soon as he hears us talking about fucking your stepsister. That's when he's going to end. That the oh yeah, he won't even get to this point. He will not get to this point. I guarantee it. And if he Is does, he... Walt Disney, I'm sorry. It's because he's a little. He's a soft guy. That's okay. He'll he'll come around. He'll join the um. He'll join the malicious acts of Daniel very soon. At least we have not started talking about, like, really sensitive subjects, okay? No, I'm not. I mean, we, we've already kind of gone there. <laughs> oh, I mean, we could we go a little bit further if we wanted, I mean. Asshole, man. So anyways, with this anyways. next topic, uh, we have uh, Disneyland has become a ghost town. To say that Disneyland's new, uh, to say that Disneyland's new Star Wars theme, Galaxy's Edge Land, is a big deal, uh, would be an understatement. The highly anticipated one billion dollar, fourteen acre immersive expansion was the biggest in park history. As of its June opening, visitors can pilot the Millennium Falcon, build lightsabers, and drink blue milk. The hype over the new attractions products has even caused people to steal branded sporks of all things. Damn. A spork. <laughs> what is this, a Toy spork, Story? Boys. Guys, look at this spork from Disneyland. <laughs> <laughs> I stole it. <laughs> I've actually never been to Disneyland. I've never been to any of the Disney places. Except, for the, except Disney for the Disney World. store in the mall. That's the only place I've, I've never... been. I've, okay, so get this. I've never been to Disneyland, but I've met like a mascot dressed as Mickey Mouse. But here's the here's the funny thing. I lost. It was recently. It was um, I think two months ago. I lost my shit when I saw this guy. I was rolling on the ground, laughing, almost getting ready to piss myself because <laughs> this dude is dressed in a full body Mickey Mouse costume. And a fucking Chuck E. Cheese. What? <laughs> Did they need a replacement because they're Chuck E. Cheese? No, uh, like it was funny or... because the no, it was funny because the mascot of Chuck E. Cheese walks out and he looks to his left and he sees Mickey and he just stood there staring at him until until Mickey turned around and they saw each other. They just stared at each other and I was I was in the middle of it and I was just like, uh, uh, they're gonna fight. Oh yeah, I want to see this shit. No, they didn't fight though. They hugged for some reason. <laughs> kids, well, get the yeah. camera. There's gonna be a big fight between yeah, the mouses. Well, it's a kid's oh, place. Yeah. They can't do anything. Okay, now here it's is a. a it's, it's Chuck E. Cheese a mouse or a rat? He he's a fucking mouse. He seems like a fucking rat. Yeah, he looks like a what rat. What kind of mouse would you name Chuck E. Cheese? Like that sounds like a name for a fucking rat. <laughs> it does. Holy shit. I was about to say. But you know the the oh, worst part is his is name, name is Chucky. His name is Chucky. 
Chucky, not fucking Mickey. No, it's fucking Chucky. Yeah, Chucky. and see, Jeez. we all know what Chucky is that's from all the horror movies. Guys, I I saw the mascot version of Chucky Cheese. He is, he is a mouse, I'm telling you. On the TV, he looks like a fucking rat. Yeah, well, you look like a rat. <laughs> no, he looks like a whale. He's Shamu. You suck a dick, Ryan. <laughs> okay, this is already Adrian's turn. Ryan, Ryan, quit being a fat boner. Okay. Okay, Nate. Be, quit being a fat boner. Wow, that's a new subject. Uh, okay, anyways. Uh, okay, um. <laughs> Chuck E. Cheese, you, you might be a rat. Okay, <laughs> next, ne ne next <laughs> article, please. Can we, can we just get the next article, please? Let's just fucking. Freddy Fazbear's. Well, uh, aren't anyone? you supposed to go next? Fuck. Fuck. No, it's supposed to be Daniel's turn now, damn it. Oh. I don't have any more stories for you guys. Well, shit. Okay, then it'll Neither did I. Okay, I can make something on the spot. Um. Okay, um we're not, uh, while we're reading, uh, so I, apparently oh, I I heard guys in the grapevine of of Tinder. I heard. Oh no. <laughs> oh great. Someone's exploring Tinder again. I heard that Donald Trump is going to erase the food pyramid because he thinks it's the cause of obesity in America. Donald Trump's being charged with rape. I mean, who cares what happens to him? If oh, God. <laughs> damn. Wait a minute. Damn. Why should he be charged? Tra Donald Trump's a great guy. I like his hair. Oh, do you mean that uh, that fake that fake wig? Look, Ryan, I need you, Ryan, I need you to shut the fuck up I mean, right Donald now. Donald Trump is the sexiest man alive. And you probably this... fuck him. I mean, I'm not gay, but hey. Donald Trump can get it. I mean, who has hair <laughs> like that? Trump. A million dollars is a million dollars. Donald Trump. <laughs> I know, got a small they, loan of a million dollars. Donald Trump's hair Trump looks today. like he, he, him. It's a small loan. Donald Trump looks like he had a <laughs> a, a, a one night stand and he left his hair that way the entire time. Like he had different hair, but then it, his hair got messed up and he kept it that way. That's what it looks like. I don't like know what right everyone's now. saying. Like he's orange. Every time I look at him, I'm like, how the? F I don't see an orange guy. I was like, look how orange he is. I'm like, he's pale. What the fuck are you talking about? He's an old pale dude. <laughs> I'm going to do great him? things for this country. Great, great things. Yeah. It's so cares? huge. It's like, um, I, last time I checked, there's not a Y in the word huge. It's There's an H. Bitch. <laughs> um, what the fuck were we talking about? I don't know, honestly. <laughs> I really don't we're talking know. about Disney World now. We're on Donald Trump. <laughs> <laughs> Disney World to Chuck E. Cheese to Trump. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, this is too good. What are we doing? So, oh my god. Uh, so, Brian, I got, I got you, uh, you got any more? Yeah, so apparently uh, Google Hangouts is being shut down on August 1st. Yeah. So, uh... Level up spotlight next to Bruce Spotlight will unfortunately... No longer be existent. Unless we can find some other way. Actually, I, I heard this uh, thing called uh, Zoom, and it, it acts kind of like that. You just need to email the link to people. Great. No damn, I don't have an email account. I'm just kidding, I do. <laughs> God damn it, no more... No more. Just fucking no. But yeah, yeah apparently you can go use Zoom to, to, uh, go, to go stream on YouTube. Go subscribe to me on uh, YouTube, Grubby Pants. I'll, uh, no. I'll, if I can remember, I'll put your link in the description. It's just Grubby Pants. It's that simple, Ryan. If you don't put that in there, I'm, I'm gonna come after you. <laughs> oh, is there something grubby in your pants? It's literally Grubby Pants. That's all it is. With capital G and a capital P. My most I mean, recent I, I, my most recent video was 18 hours ago. Well, who did you post? It said, "Don't be a bully." Yeah, so... you hear that, Ryan? <laughs> yeah. So what? Although I never, I, I, I never see Ryan Fortnite dancing on my channel. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so I, I saw that. that. <laughs> I saw uh, that. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely was gonna a, check that out. It was oh, a yeah, failed clip there. of me tr attempting orange <laughs> justice for the first time. <laughs> wow, I reckon you just fucking stop, dude. It looks nothing like orange justice. I know it just looks like I'm flapping my arms around like that. Uh, that fl flailing <laughs> two map, whatever the hell it's called, outside okay, of the speaking. dealers. 
Um, I guess we're on the topic of Fortnite now. Uh, great. I don't like Fortnite. Fortnite, Fortnite today had their big live event of their a, monster big, versus robots. Man, who the hell even cares about Fortnite of, uh, anymore? I'm a big fan of Apex. Minecraft is coming back. I'll that, that's, say, that's Ryan's the, a big that's fan the of big Minecraft. Thing. Yeah, that, that's Fucking the new. big thing. Nah, man. Ryan knew Minecraft was going to become popular again, so he just kept making Minecraft videos. No, if you guys want to see me play Apex, I, I will play Apex. If you guys want to see Ryan shut up, I'll kill him. <laughs> the amount God of age restrictions we're going to get on this. Holy <laughs> shit. Fucking brutal. Why are children watching your channel? I, I, I don't, don't know. know. Good question. <laughs> You should put it like a disclaimer, like in the beginning of the hey, just so you guys know, Shamu and Bubba I'll put Hansen eighteen plus in, this in the video. title. I will put eighteen plus in the title. If they see <laughs> grubby, if they see grubby pants in the title, they know it's not eighteen. Oh, why is this girl twerking on my screen? Get out of here! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I get like the weirdest like like f fucking Facebook messages. I swear. Yeah, sure, we'll go with that. Uh, but uh, in other news, we have <laughs> we'll airline. Yeah, we have airline sends one hundred six thousand dollar bill to a woman who tried to open doors mid flight. What the fuck? <laughs> what so here, here's what happened. So a woman who allegedly caused two fighter jets to be scrambled to escort a plane she was traveling on and has received an eighty five thousand pounds. Uh, which is uh, equivalent to $106,000 bill by the airline. Good. So, awesome. in a statement posted on the website, Jet2, which, which is the, the airline, said 25-year-old yeah. Chloe Haynes had tried to open the door of a plane midway between London's Transted, uh, or Standed, uh, Stanced? Stanced, sorry, I can't read that well. Uh, Stanced Airport and uh, Dalaman in Turkey. So Why? The uh, the alleged incident on June twenty second that that was really that, that was last month um, led to two or led led to passengers and screw or uh, I dyslexia I think uh, passengers and <sighs> and crew restraining Haynes while pilots rerouted the plane back to Stanced. Uh, the airline accused oh. Haynes of a catalog of aggressive, abusive, and dangerous behavior. So yeah, she, she's uh, she's she's got a bill to pay. Wow. Yeah, man. I, I what the hell's wrong with people? We're gonna have a bill to pay once YouTube like fucking mails us a fucking fine for all this bad stuff that we've been talking about. Can YouTube do that? I I wouldn't be surprised. Well, they're gonna have to fucking come at me because I ain't paying for <laughs> shit. <laughs> Go fuck themselves. Just fucking. We'll see you in court, Daniel. <laughs> YouTube, YouTube sues fat kid for talking shit. Bigger <laughs> <laughs> popular than any of Logan Paul's like videos. <laughs> That'd be the best drama ever. <laughs> Welcome to the drama alert. Let's get ready <laughs> to rumble. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> Welcome to the drama alert with your, with your host, Killer Keemstar. Today, top story. Literally. <laughs> if you just like. <laughs> Hi there. <laughs> oh my god, that was too funny. I swear to god. I well, can yeah, see it happening too. You got any more stories on you? Ah. Uh, oh, him. Maybe. I don't know. He's a nerd. <laughs> if not, I have one. I didn't mean that in a mean uh, way. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, tell your tell your article. All right. So actually, this is kind of aimed towards you as well. If you play this game, um, so okay. for those of you out there that own a Nintendo Switch. Uh, I do. Joy-Con drift is becoming a real problem on the Switch, uh, because Joy yeah, for because yeah, because for months Nintendo Switch users have been plagued by what's become known as Joy-Con drift, and what is that? Uh, although they're not touching the joystick on their Nintendo Switch controller, the console still thinks that it's moving with no permanent fix being offered by Nintendo. They're just sick yes. of it. 
Yes, that happens to me. Yeah, see, so there, there's that. So recently, uh, it, the, actually, okay, this part, it, I'm going to read it in their third person because it's got I've and, you know, like someone's talking in this. So uh, I'll read it as their in third person. So uh, recently, they've been doing nothing but playing the, the upcoming Switch game Fire Emblem Three Houses. Uh, to oh, finish like Emblem, to um, finish the game in time for for their upcoming review, they too have uh, have started noticing something funny about the Joy-Con game. Uh, when I uh, when they were in the combat screen where the the stick on the right Joy con the Joy-Con controls the overhead angle of the camera, the camera angle would slowly drift until it was directly overhead. In the in the school phase of the game, the camera would do the same thing, drifting away from the optimal position unless they kept the the thumb on it. So apparently, there's got there's huh. some issues going on with that. Interesting. Um, yeah. See, if you're having the same issues, then uh, you can talk a little bit about that. I'm just having issues with Fortnite where I stop move. I I literally stop touching my joystick. And my character still keeps moving no matter what. Well, well, um, Fortnite has an auto run. Well, no, it's not. I have auto run turned off, so this is like. Okay, so that's when you unplug your switch and you toss out the fucking window. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, they're fucking after you, man. I swear, it's hard to be the only one here that's woke. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, I think you should shut up. I don't have no fucking Nintendo products. Yeah, that's most gay people don't. So, so now, if you guys have uh, <laughs> talking, to, talking to the viewers, if if you guys lasted this long and you are Stranger Things fans, listen up. So eight questions. Right, no, we're done. End the podcast. <laughs> no, we're done. So eight questions uh, that like, people have like about things? the yet to be no, announced Stranger but inevitable <laughs> Stranger Things season four. Oh, so shit. Stranger Things, already? Thing, <laughs> yeah. The fuck? Well, I just got done with season three. <laughs> well, now just listen here, or else you know you're gonna miss out. So Stranger, no. uh, <laughs> so season three of Stranger Things has been out for a few weeks, and now that that uh, we've had time to really digest things uh, we liked and didn't like, our minds have drifted towards what's next. So far, the Delver brothers have only offered some vague teases for season four which Netflix has yet to officially confirm, though it sure feels inevitable, but we have some questions, suggestions, hopes, and demands to toss out there. And that is what they wrote on their thing. So, uh, what year will it be? And uh, they're going through like the, the year that they're going to put it in, because obviously we know that it's from the, the old days. So, in, in keeping with the show's established chronological... Chron ugh, I can never say that word. Chronology, chron the cr how the hell do you say that word? Da, da, da. Chronological, Chronolo uh, chr chronology, I, chronology, chron chronology, so. stuff like that. I have no idea. Chronological, uh, no, that, that's not. That's, no. Say it with me, Ryan. Chron well, no, I, I'm reading it. I'm reading it, and it says chronology. That that is how chronologically. I'm, no, there's no C except for in the beginning of the word. Oh, what the yeah, fuck? yeah, I don't know. But Chronoly? anyway, season uh, season one was Ooh. November 1983. Season two was Halloween of 1984. Season three was summer of 1985. And Stranger Things four should take place in 1986. So they're going through <laughs> all, all the years. I but it life. might actually be more interesting to set things a few years later when the main group of kids are all in their junior or senior year of high school. The same age Nancy, Steve, and Jonathan, and Barb were back in season one. They can drive, they're worried about college or other post-grad pro uh, plans they have after school jobs. They're slightly more emotionally mature and the, uh, the horrific memories of the mind flare have receded a bit. The kid actors are almost aging faster than their characters at this point. So the Duffers may not have much of a choice unless they start filming new episodes as soon as possible. So, so there's that. Okay. Okay then. Well, well I guess. Is. But, I... Um, yeah, that's about it. 
I, for one, am I am excited. I guess because I hated season one and two. I liked season three. I saw a little bit of season three, and I thought it was pretty cool, actually. Like the, I, even yeah, though I didn't watch season good. one or two, I liked the character development. I kind of understood what was going on, and because I just kind of went based off of you know what people were, were referencing, so I got to know the characters that way as well. I mean, like I listen, but that you know. But um, yeah. Uh, anything Fine. left to say, guys? It, any just like maybe not news, just you know something to just throw out there. Yeah, go check out Grubby Pants. <laughs> Captain um, Shamu, you got anything? <clears throat> YouTube.com slash Captain Shamu. You got anything else you guys want to plug? Um, um, Walt Disney? If he watches this, he's going to hate you. <laughs> Come back next Saturday. And we'll have Come some more news Saturday. for you. And actually, next week we have Super Wolf 2022 joining us as a guest. Oh yeah, that means cat, that means it won't be as fun. <laughs> oh, that's so <laughs> mean. <laughs> well, I mean, no Shamu equals like less fun. I mean, no. I'm here. Well, Daniel, less... I know, I, I know you're here, but I'm talking about me, not you. Don't be so selfish. No one cares about you. <laughs> I know no one does. Sometimes I just want to commit suicide. Oh, did <laughs> You can't fucking say that. Yeah, not on this, dude. <laughs> what is wrong with you? That. You can't fucking say that. That's like every day I wish a car would just crash into me. Like, you can't, you can't just fucking say that. <laughs> dude, you're so screwed up. I know. I know, but I really have to, I have to be honest. It. I have to be honest. Sometimes, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes, sometimes uh, I'm really depressed, and sometimes I really just feel like fucking just saying fuck it. Well, that's when you like grab a fucking bag of Starbursts and fucking run. You get that little thrill of excitement. You grab some food from your work and just fucking book it. Oh, hold on! <laughs> I have one more story. I have one more story. This one is that's when really you grab, like, stupid. A bag just, uh, uh, fuck you guys. <laughs> I'd say you get that, you know, little burst of like, whew, I'm a bad boy, yeah. I need to jail for stealing. <laughs> a, a bag of fucking M&M's, who cares? I'd be like, okay. So have I fun am... with your fucking peanut M&M's. <laughs> so I have one more story here. And this is... No one cares. This is an actress from Avengers Endgame. They got in she, tr she got in trouble with Marvel Studios head of security for posting a sunset picture. Oh, I thought it's because she like had sex with him and didn't like fucking give so, a shout out or something. So one star of Avengers Endgame learned just how seriously Marvel Studios takes the security of its movies after she got in trouble just for posting an image of a sunset. So Can we ask which star it is. Um, uh, Emma Fer Furman. Wasn't that like Star Wars or something? She, uh, I guess she's, uh, uh, she's attending the premiere of Sony Pictures' Spider-Man Far From Home. I thought, she, wasn't she, who was she? Was she Scarlet Witch or... What? I'll send you her Patreon. <laughs> Patreon. Wow, wow, no, you're that, at that, it. Why yeah, you no, you're thinking of Elizabeth Patreon? Olsen. Why don't you who the fuck's that? What's her, what's Elizabeth her Elizabeth name? Olsen, Emma that's Scarlet Witch. Emma, I don't, Emma who? Dude, I don't Emma know. Who? I've never watched a single, like... DC superhero movie. So or here's Marvel here's what she here's what she had said. So I had gotten to Atlanta to film, and there was this gorgeous sunset. Uh, Furman said it in the interview. I took a picture of the sunset and posted it on my Instagram story, and I just tagged the location, Atlanta, Georgia. So that kind of tells us where they were filming there. So, who oh boy? <laughs> I did something. I did something like that. Well, were you like, you leaked a location to a, a filming site or something? Well, no, I've leaked many it's locations to like, like people. I've leaked oh, locations like, and shit like oh, that I, from, to like the people. Emma, but I mean, Emma Furman is her name, right? Uh, what? yeah. Um, the way the she was Cassandra Ling. I think that was ah, like ah, I can talk too. Yeah, shut up. 
I think that was like fucking uh, Ant Man's like daughter or like lover or something. I'm not sure. I think it was the daughter, if I'm not mistaken. I can look it up really quick, actually. No, but the thing I was uh, do- doing is I was in some. I was in. My, uh, I guess you could call it a museum. And I didn't see the sign that said no flash photography. Oh, shit. So what am I doing? Well, it's Daniel over here. Fucking boom, flash. Boom, flash. And this guy who is not dressed as a security guard, so that's why I just kind of... Yeah, Emma Furman. The, the, he, she played he comes the, up to uh, me. He goes, hey. Shut Ryan. I just I had to look it up really quick. No one cares. Endgame sucks. Okay. Don't no there no it does not no it does not shut up. <laughs> Daniel finish your story. Daniel Daniel finish your story. Anyway, this guy came up to me, just a big old dude. He goes, "Hey, no flash photography." I said, "Okay." I turn around, took another picture of my flash. <laughs> he goes, "Dude, what's with you?" And I took a picture of him with the flash. <laughs> 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 and then yeah, I ran because he, I am. I am big and I, but this guy was but fucking. He was bigger. This guy was like Dwayne the Rock Johnson. So I ran. Time, time ten yeah. cheeseburgers or just fucking. Oh, time like ten. And like this guy's bicep was as big as my leg. Crazy. Oh shit! Jesus. You know who the silly is? The guy who like slaps the shit out of people. The rest this guy so, was like this guy was like him, just a big ass dude. And I was like, okay, I can either hit you and hope it like affects you, or, or run. <laughs> I ran. I chose the smart decision because I don't think my I think my fist would have like disintegrated against his chin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, I guess that's all the news articles we had. Yeah, that that's it. Um, one more thing. Yeah. Okay. So, I've been getting back into Minecraft. Oh shit! Here we go. Okay, so I notice whenever I play, I seem to catch a lot, a lot of attention, and so I get this question a lot. Or I just see it throughout the uh, the chum in like a lobby. I see a lot of people talking about gamer girl bad. Wait, ga- wait, say that again. <laughs> you kind of lagged a little gamer, bit. Gamer, gamer girl bathwater. Girl ba- gamer girl bathwater. Oh yeah, yeah. What? And I looked it up. It's a real thing. Wait, She's hold up. What? Selling. She's actually selling her bathwater. Like. Like, don't look it up. You're not gonna like what you see. But hold on, what? Yeah, she may go to like, look it up as you tell me not like, to. It's like a gamer girl, like anime, type, like cosplay girl, and she's is that she's just sitting in a bathtub. She takes a cup, dips it in the water, puts a cap on it, and she's oh, selling it, and sending it to people. As is sending also gamer girl P. What? She was banned on Instagram. I guess people really like have a fetish for girls that play games, which I don't understand the fetish. I'm like, hey, you play games, cool, but that doesn't make me like more attracted to you. That's not how that works. Yeah, what? That makes no it's sense. It's just like a plus, you know. Hey, if you got a big butt and you wear socks a little high on your legs and you play PlayStation, yeah, that kind of evens out. You know, I don't got no complaints. Better known as the influencer who sold Gamer Girl bathwater. <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. It's fucking had her crazy. Instagram shut down. She had her Instagram shut down, so I mean, okay. <laughs> cool. I'm not. I'm not surprised. Dumb bitch. Jesus. <laughs> People are so stupid in this world. <laughs> Dumb bitch. Fucking <laughs> cunt. <laughs> Well, guys, I uh, I guess that about does it for this episode. So, uh, yeah, we're about uh, uh, we're a little over an hour and eight minutes in. So, well, the, that's so, fun. Yeah, so age um, restriction and demonetization. <laughs> Great show, guys. That's okay. I had fun. Yeah, it, I had it's fun always too. a pleasure.
Well, thank you, mm -hmm. Captain Shimu. Not when Ryan's around, but well, thank you, Captain Shimu, for coming out anyway, though. Uh, even though you don't yeah, like you're me. Welcome. Uh, <laughs> but uh... you're welcome. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> where's my money? <laughs> thank you guys all so much for watching in or listening. I keep forgetting this is a freaking podcast. Watching. Uh, you and watch, you watch for, us sit here and just talk. You just put a big image of like gamer girl in the bathtub. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big image of her sitting in a bathtub. Yeah, thank you guys so much for coming so, out. The whole show. Listening to the podcast. The whole, no, no, no. The whole, the whole show. It's like he puts an image of everything we talk about. It goes from animals to food to having sex with your stepsister to fucking. Jeez. Chuck E. Cheese. So. Chuck E. Cheese, the fucking... Who knows what else we talked about? Jesus Christ. Yeah. Putting talking, your dog we down? We covered a lot in here. We, we covered things we probably shouldn't have covered. I mean, let's be honest here. They needed to be said. They needed to be... The world's too have... sensitive. Talking about Alabama and having sex with your stepsister or needed to be said? That's, that's, uh... Well, yeah. that didn't need to be said, but I need to let fucking <laughs> people know, man. What the hell? They didn't know it was okay. But anyways, thank you guys so much for listening. We appreciate all of you guys, and well, if you if really? you were able to watch this and you're below 21, then congratulations. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll uh, I'll see all of you amazing people later. It's a Tune in to uh, next Saturday when we have Super Bowl 2022 on. It's going to be amazing. I'm going to uh, mute him now. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. All right, so thanks for watching or listening. God dang it, I keep getting it wrong. And I'll see all of you next time. Keep the diamond power alive.